In this video we will learn how to create a lyric video in vintage TV style. Something similar to Cheap Frills by Sia, which you can see on my screen right now. I love how this video was directed and the effects fit the mood perfectly. By using After Effects we are going to recreate this old TV look from this video. So let's create a new composition and start working on this video. I already have the footage that I would like to use in this demo composition. So first thing that I would like to do, I would like to create this old TV frame. I'm gonna create a new solid which is gonna be completely black and I will name it the frame. So we have a frame now we want to draw a mask. Let's choose the ellipse tool and start drawing from the center of the composition. By holding control it will draw a symmetrical. So something like that should work fine. I will enable this title action so I could make this shape symmetrical. Now I will change the settings on the mask from add to subtract and that will invert the mask. So we see what's inside and we don't what's outside. Let's adjust this mask a little bit. Just spread those. By holding shift you will have a straight lines. Let's keep the symmetrical look. Don't forget to hold shift and that looks like that. We can adjust our footage a little bit. It's wider than my composition, so I can move it. I will center it and that looks quite good, I think. Yeah, that's, that's really good. The next thing that I would like to do, I would like to create a text for our lyric, just like here. It has lyrics at the bottom, so I will do the same. I will create a new text. I need the lyrics now. I don't know if we have song like that, but let it be. Let's change it to white for now. Just change the settings of paragraph to center. We need a little bit smaller text. And I'm gonna use Bodega Sans Medium. You can find it on Adobe fonts or probably anywhere, I guess. But I found it on Adobe fonts. It's very easy to add into all the Adobe apps, so it's free to use. Let's change the position to the bottom. I think we need to increase the size of the text a little bit. I will drop it below the frame, just in case. Let's tweak a couple more settings. I will make it bold and uh, I'll decrease the vertical scale of the text, something like 70. And let's make it italic. That looks quite good for now. Let's add a drop shadow effect. More distant, more opacity, and a little bit of softness. Something like 8 probably, 7, something like that. So we have the text, we have the footage. Now we would like to adjust the footage. I will pre-compose the footage and the lyrics. Of course, if we will have the whole song, there would be way more lyrics. We'll have one line in, in this tutorial, but let's pre-compose and name it footage probably. We have this in separate composition and uh, the frame in on the main comp. We can rename it to the main so we would know which one we are going to use. I didn't pre-compose this frame layer because we are going to distort this footage composition by a lot and I don't want it to distort this frame. Actually, what I would like to do, if you probably noticed on the old TV, it is not that sharp. Those, those corners are not that sharp. It has a little, let's get back to see a video. It has a little blurry, dark, half dark, half uh, light sides. To achieve that, I will duplicate this layer. I will scale it down a little bit to something like I don't know yet. And I will add Gaussian Blur effect. Let's increase this. And that looks as I expected. Now let's select our footage composition and add black and white. We want to make this video black and white, so let's add this effect. 
another thing that I would like to add a, a little bit noise it's very smooth and well filmed footage so let's add grain effect I will keep the default I think we can select final output so it will add grain to the wall footage I just add it above black and white if you saw an old TV it is curved it's not flat it, its surface is curved so we would like to add this effect by adding optics compensation effect let's add it to the bottom and increase it and you see it's get rounded something between 80 and 90 looks maybe too extreme maybe 78 okay let's make it 80 80 looks good now we see some sides we can adjust the footage a little bit and we can scale it a little bit if we just make sure that the center is on the center so we are good now and it has the look that i would like to see actually this scene is, looks too good it doesn't feel like an old video that could be filmed with an old vintage camera by using lumetri color we are going to distort the scene a lot we are just going to use the basic settings and first i would like to increase the whites to maximum which is 150 and then i would like to decrease the blacks maybe 97 another thing i would like to overexpose the scene yeah 27 might be good and increase the contrast by a lot also now this video looks way worse than before but it better fits the mood that i would like to create in this scene one more thing that i probably need to change is this text let's make it a little bit darker and now if we get here we don't see many changes so let's make it even darker what's the problem yeah that looks better so here how it looks and that really looks good so thank you for watching i'm gita sardinavichus and if you want more similar stuff in your life make sure to subscribe and turn the notifications so you don't miss the single one video that i will upload and if this tutorial helped you to get some shape to your video you can tag me as sblj on any social media i love to see my students work online also if you know a cool lyric video and have no idea how to create something like that leave me a comment and i will try to figure it out that's a pretty much it so stay creative and see you in the following videos